hide it, girl. You don't have to put it in your purse. Just go play. <laughs> what is that? I don't know if he hot. Your feet are cold. Uh-huh. Why are your feet so cold? You cold? Uh-huh. Okay, so how do you feel about graduate graduating from Head Start today? Um, I want to get some toys. You want to get some Toys. I can't need no toys. Are you excited that uh -huh. you graduated? Uh-huh. Are you proud of yourself? Uh-huh. You should be. I'm proud of you. Uh-huh. Okay. What do you want to tell YouTube? I love YouTube. Oh, isn't that sweet? Alright, we gotta get started. Ready to start today. You excited? Uh-huh. Alright, let's go rock this. Yeah. Daddy stayed up late, so he's sleeping. He's sleeping all night. Yeah, he's sleeping. He's a sleepy baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just got finished with this, and so now we're gonna check out the YMCA because so the girls can be active this summer and not drive me crazy. Excited! What do you think, Bacon? I think I love it. You think you love it? Uh huh. I want to go in the pool. You want to go in the pool? Yes. So you gonna take swimming lessons? Yes. get uh, Alana. Alana from school and then so we're gonna just chill out here and then we have a uh, Bible study tonight so we have Bible study and I'm so 
excited about the wide for the prices and everything like the first class starts even though i haven't had to work on this and i'm asking god to work with me on this the first class start at five o'clock in the morning like 5 30 in the morning another thing that's amazing not that i could ever see myself doing it was the youngest they take the kids is six weeks <coughs> giving my kids and taking my kids and nobody in those six weeks but he was saying like you know he has some serious like athletes there that just are serious about I their business take one. Mm -mm, I don't like that and six weeks uh. is the youngest that they can go for um I guess their immune system to be able to go so they watch your kids sorry guys I don't know where we left off because that was JRL called and I looked at Alana's face and I could tell she was up set so I tried to talk to her being a parent is it's a job, y'all. It's a job. So basically, she was upset because the little girl named Cadence was being mean to her. And um, she, it didn't, she had, you know, she was really excited. She went on a field trip today. Alana had a field trip today. And they went to, where did they go, Ava? To the farm. They went to the farm. And when Ava went, they were supposed to plant flowers and they make salad or something like that. Did you make salad? No. What did you make? Something's in your eye. What did you make? I make uh I made the I made the flower with the the spelly fans. Oh, that was really cute. They plant flowers and they make salads and stuff like that. Each one of my kids are different. They're all special in their own little way, and I love them to death. But Alana's personality Mommy, is look. yeah. I see the flowers growing. It's not flowers. It's a thing. No, it's salad. Or it goes salad. Oh, okay. It's very much, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to stop saying dr dramatic and use that word. I'm, it's complex. She has a very complex personality. It's my job as her mother is not to, you know, not to... Not to hinder her feelings or not to pamper her feelings or suppress her feelings or tell her that her feelings aren't sufficient or good enough. My job is just to give her options that, you know, I would do. And it's easier said than done, but walk with her in this journey called life and give her words of encouragement. But I have to allow her to go through what she's going to go through. And it's not my job to take the just take the pain away and as a mom you just want your kids to be happy all the time take all the pain away all the hurt away and it's just not possible especially especially if that's not what they want I can talk to Ava and me and Ava can have a conversation and I can give her an idea about something and she'll take it and run with it you know I keep telling her that she is in control of her thoughts, in control of her feelings. No one can, we talked all about happy, sadness, joy, anger. So she knows what she's feeling. So she's in touch with her feelings, very much so. And she said that Cadence took her joy away. And I explained to her, your joy is in your heart. No one can take your joy away. You can give your joy away when no one can take your joy I'm trying to figure out how to do it. The balance I'm trying to have is that I'm not going to, what's the word I'm trying to, celebrate bad behavior so yes you're upset about something we respect that you're upset but i'm not going to pat you on the back and you know butter you up and all this stuff because what happens is if i celebrate your bad behavior you get my attention because you're constantly sad or depressed or upset about something then that teaches you oh you want to get mom's attention or you want to get extra cuddle time get upset get sad and that is very much true in some of the scenarios so if they need a good hug or they need a good cry they need a little you know mommy love i'm there for you but i'm not going to allow you not only to walk around with this attitude of discussing these bad vibes around everybody else and bring everybody else down especially when we're trying to sit and we're trying to talk and we're trying to hash this out I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to tolerate that. So, you know, sometimes if she just decides to be in one of her moods where something happened at school, I'm not going to allow her to come home and take it out on the other kids. I'm not going to allow her to come home and take it out on me. I'll tell her to go in her room and, you know, try to figure it all out so she gets her attitude and then come back. Because um, I don't, I don't, I think I, I think his name is Sud Guru. He was kind of talk about like when kids are sick, we're way more compassionate and loving and caring when the kids are sick. But like if kids are jumping around and being happy, the first thing we tell them is sit down, calm down and stuff like that. So the kids learn that if I act like I'm sick or if I act like I'm sad, I get that attention. 
and you know even though if the kid is sick if the kid is not feeling well you definitely want to be there but you want to put just as much energy and just as much attention into the happy kids because you want to teach them that it's good to be happy it's good to you know try to figure a problem out and get the best in life so that's that's just the, the road of motherhood that I'm in right now trying to figure out the balance of being there for her also allowing her to go through what she's going through and not trying to change her story for her in any way this is her story she has every right to feel the way she wants to feel but I want her to see that in all of these instances it's life lessons all the pains are lessons what are you learning from this feeling that you're feeling right now that's what I want to happen. And then also I want her to know that just because you're having a bad day doesn't mean that you get the right to come in and just bully and 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 just throw your bad vibes on everybody in the house. I don't think that that's cool. So, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot to deal with. And uh, honey, I got three girls and the oldest one is seven. So that means that at some point in my life, I'm going to have four women in the house on their uh, cycles. We got to get this together now. We got to get this together. This is Brooklyn coming out. We got to get this together. Now, honey, when I think about four girls in the house going through the changes, we got to get this together. This is the voice that comes out. So this is how I feel. You know, you can't just be acting all crazy. You can be driving mommy to drink more. It's like, because, you know, you had a bad day. Like, let's talk about it. Let's, you know, get to work. But I'm not going to throw you this constant pity party. I'm not doing that with my kids. That, I'm not going to teach them to throw themselves a constant pity party. I don't think it's health, healthy. Yeah, so, this is the life lessons of having three girls. And then I got him over here with an attitude. I just, everybody got an attitude. Look at him. Look at you. Look at this attitude. Look at this. Look at all this attitude. Look at this attitude. Look. Look at yourself. Attitude. Attitude. Fussy bear. Why are you fussy bear? Hi. Ain't no hi. No hi. They can see it in your face. Fussy, fussy, fussy. Now you want to be all sweet. No, don't be sweet now. What are you crying about? Are you going to go play nicely? Get a toy and play nicely. One toy. Get one. Pick one. Pick one? Yes, pick one. Okay, now go play nicely and stop whining. You don't have to hide it, girl. You don't have to put it in your purse. Just go play. Here, take it. Take it with you. You can take it with you. Okay. Why are you hiding it? Go play. What kind of foolishness? Go. Bye. What is that? What is he Just... What is that? I don't know if he's hiding it. Because he see me put stuff in my chest. I don't know if he hiding it because the girls be taking stuff from him. I don't know. He acting like he's smuggling narcotics. It's, it's not going to be driving me crazy. <laughs> Did y'all see him? What is that? I don't know. All right. Lord, let me get finished. My job. <laughs> get off this kitchen. Who, who was that? So I'm going to end the vlog here because we, like I said, we have, a, what's it called? Bible study tonight. And then when I come home is to get the kids in the bed and then I'm gonna spend some time with my man. So I might as well just leave it here. But I thank you so much for watching. I thank you so much for subscribing because I know you subscribe because you fell in love with us immediately because we're just, we're just lovable. We're just lovable. We're just a lovable bunch. So thank you so much for subscribing and also thank you so much for hitting that bell which will notify you every time I have a new vlog. Um, I am really liking the end of my vlog yesterday. If you didn't watch that, click the link and watch it. But at the end, I did a prayer request and I think I'm going to end my vlogs on a prayer request. Not just me. Not just me. I would love you guys to leave your prayer requests below and I will make sure because I pray for you guys that you know comment that I can you know 
put my face to, but I pray for all my subscribers. But I pray for you. I would like to do that. I think we should we should start a little prayer request line thing. If you see somebody in the comments, you can pray for them. We can pray for each other. Let's just, you know, two or more gather. Things are going to get done. But today's prayer request that I'm asking you is that J. Rell's aunt, um, uh, Aunt Peggy, but the kids lovingly call her Aunt Piggy because when they were younger, lovingly call her Aunt Piggy because when they were younger, uh, I think it was Alana or was it Ava? One of them couldn't say Peggy, so they said Piggy, so it just kind of stuck. So Aunt Piggy is, uh, she suffers from MS and at this moment she is in the hospital because they had to do surgery on her brain just to kind of help her with that. So um, we really wanted to come see you today if you watch the vlogs, Aunt Peggy. Well, of course you're not watching it now, but if you do watch the vlogs, we really wanted to come see you today, but we understand that the um the level of care that you're in you couldn't really have visitors but we wanted to come see you but as soon as you get home i am going to make sure that we stop stop past and see you and stuff like that and i have your phone number now so i'm going to get the girls to call you just to send some cheer but please 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 keep on peggy in your prayers also keep her sister which is j rose oh i'm doing the most um which is j rose mom uh, which is the girls Vivi in prayer because you know that's stressful her sister and then also keep J-Rell and Nay in prayer because that's their aunt and then also keep her boys uh, Booty and Brian in prayer because that's their mom and then Stanley her husband we're just going to keep that whole family wrapped in prayer it's already done she's already healed or getting better or you know the process is winning she got out of surgery so right there is a victory feel free to leave your channel below I have no problem with supporting that I'm not going to get upset you know because some people get upset when you shout out your channel you can shout out your channel all you want all right goodbye guys